Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to Omni Factory playthrough. Um, I am just getting the second advanced assembly machine crafted up here. And, um, yeah, basically, we need the two things and the MV machine hull, which unfortunately we don't have, but I did just make a whole bunch of patterns but man having these uh these take the uh the refined things are it's it's rough <laughs> that's definitely rough with those so as we can see i need a couple more things here where did i put my cutting no that was over here wasn't it yeah cutting machine is mv so we'll get that and then we also need the polyvinyl sheets for the... I need more circuit boards and... Everything seems to be working. <laughs> uh, everything seems to be working great. As we can see, we have 25,000, 19,000 uh, ethylene. We just need to get some oxygen in here and we will be good. And if we remember, we set up the electrolyzer with a couple quantum tanks. And as we can see, 39,000 oxygen. Um, we are using this, the hydrogen, we are not using that's why, uh, that's basically why I wanted such a large tank for the hydrogen because it will fill up. So, uh, Oh, right. I, just kidding. <laughs> it was the chlorine that we needed. I didn't have a whole bunch of chlorine. That's right. It's been a couple days since I have recorded. Do it need... Sulfuric acid. That is what we need. Getting it all kind of turned around here. Although... We already had a bunch in there, so yeah, just trying to get my bearings right. But uh, all right, so we'll get this, and then we will get a so we'll get another interface we need, and I think I'm trying to decide how I want to yeah. So this is going to be polyethylene in here. Eventually, I'm going to have a storage bus on this machine, um, but yeah. Yeah, we'll have a storage bus on here for the polyethylene. This will fill up with polyethylene once this is full, but obviously we're a long, long way away from that. So, uh, yeah, I guess we could start. Throw some more. Put some oxygen in there and make some polyethylene. All right, so unfortunately, it is a thousand oxygen to like 144 ethylene, so you need lots more oxygen. Um, guess I don't want that turned off for the moment. I'm thinking, yeah, we'll just do like a whole bunch. In the assembly machine. All right, so that should have gotten a few of those at least. We don't have a ton. I do need more chlorine. Now, there is an easier way to, or a more efficient way to get chlorine from salt. And I think we talked about that before. Uh, you put it in a mixer with some water and get salt water, and then you electrolyze the salt water into chlorine and hydrogen. Um, instead of just doing salt directly in the electrolyzer. So salt water, one salt gets you two salt water and then two salt water gets you one chlorine, one hydrogen and one sodium hydroxide. So like one salt gets you these three as opposed to two salt getting you a chlorine and a sodium dust. So it definitely is 
uh, better to do it that way. The question is, I mean, oh, we have a bunch of chlorine. I had forgotten I did all that salt. And that's the issue with uh, not playing every single day. <laughs> Sometimes you forget what you were doing. So I think eventually we will have that set up for chlorine, because chlorine you use a lot of, is what I'm thinking. But I think for right now, yeah, I think for right now, I mean, I do have a mixer and electrolyzer like right next to each other. Um, I just need the mixer for other things, mainly. Yeah, mainly like the energetic stuff. But we do have enough for a little while. I could probably get. I'll probably be able to craft up a uh, another mixer by the time we actually do need it. Um, All right, I think I'm just going to get rid of this. Uh, for the macerator, I don't really use the macerator a whole lot in this, just because there really isn't a huge need for it when resources really aren't an issue. So yeah, you can double your ore, but like, really, is it, is it worth it? Huge mixer. There we go. Nope. Extract. Although it was pushing into it anyway, so. And insert there, and then we need. And I forgot to. Oh, there we go. Sometimes it's a bit fiddly with the allow input from output side. All right, there's that. I think I used it. Oh, I didn't use all my salt. So basically what we do is salt to the salt water and then into an electrolyzer. So that's basically the process and that will just eventually all fill up with chlorine and what was the other thing? Chlorine and hydrogen. And again, quantum tanks. So this would be probably a better idea to have it. Oh, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I should have just put it right here. All right. Good plan. We're going to move this and this. We're going to put this right next to... And I know you don't need... You actually don't need the wrench... But uh, I do it anyway, just out of habit. I'm just trying to. I guess we'll put it here. Throw that mixer in, because that's for the, the energetic blend. All right, and then we'll move that here. But uh, I'm going to wait for that to clear out. And basically, we'll put it for the conduit. It is under. I don't remember if it was under what it was called. Yeah, so we'll do that, and then I will need a new tank for the chlorine, um, but we're not quite there yet. But, all right. I am pretty happy with that. So you do get quite a lot. You have tons of vinyl chloride there. There we go. 
All right, uh, let me go ahead and continue crafting this up. I'm gonna wait till all this, actually, I'm thinking about it. We could just empty that. I think even, I don't know how much we're gonna use of these. I think this might even work. Yeah, it does. Hmm. You know what? We have enough. Why don't we just go ahead and do it? There we go. We can at least get the hydrogen out into there. But uh, as we can see, this is why I wanted filters. Um, if there is stuff in it, it's obviously not going to put a new fluid in. But uh, if it is, say you have, um, if I can find where. But I thought I had one with hydrogen. I did. Um, if you have this hooked up to a storage bus and then you pull out the stuff, it might get clogged up. So all right. So I th think I think that works. And we'll do that. Let's just double check that it pulls out. Um, now it will fill up. I'm just realizing it's going to fill up with sodium hydroxide. So I need to figure out a way to deal with that. And I may have to... It may have to be like Yeah, it may need to be like a item onto it kind of deal. That's not how I want. I don't I can't remember if that's Do I have no item conduits? Do I have any pulsating iron wire? <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, I think... I think it's that. Alright, and then conduit binder. Alright, we have a little bit at least. Yeah, and then maybe just... I mean, that's not ideal. I could even have a, if I wanted, I could Thor convey, actually. Let's do this. We're getting all sorts of imports. I think that's what we want. I'm going to turn all those into ours and then, all right, there we go. So we do that. Insert. And that should pull out, that put it in, hmm. No, of course not, because that's, should have sodium hydroxide, right? Ah, that's going to be an issue. Yeah, that's going to be an issue. I didn't know that could go in a mixer. Oh, can't. Oh. All right, so I'm learning stuff about Greg Tech Community Edition is that uh, it can go in the machine even if it doesn't have a recipe.
All right, so I'm going to have to go ahead and either put a filter on this. I think there is. Ah, yeah, I can't reach it because the, the chest. Wait. Yeah, I can't get to the. That's so annoying if the chest is in the way. All right, so there's nothing in it. All right, there is filter. I wonder if it's a whitelist or a blacklist. I actually don't know. Do I have any zinc? Actually, let's test this out. We'll learn here for future automation. And I need an extruder so bad. Um, steel. Yeah, it's relatively easy. So why don't we just go ahead and yeah, let's find this out. All I remember. Mr. Mill. Can't wait to get interfaces on all this stuff. And auto crafting. All right, so there we go. What is this kind of filter thing? Does this work? All right, so can't right click on it. Ah, all right, so that's cool. So we can do a blacklist. Ah, perfect. Yeah, you do need a screwdriver to open up this GUI. So blacklist, sodium hydroxide. Guess that will work. So we should put that in there. All right, there we go. Pretty happy with that. All right, so I am just crafting up the last of the circuits here, and it's stuck. And I went over to look and out of Southern Alley. Now I may need to. We haven't really had an issue yet, but I may need to do blocking mode. I guess we'll do blocking mode. I guess we could turn it on anyway. It's not gonna. I don't think we're gonna. Heard anything? There is the cell right now. Um, but sometimes, since there's nine slots, it like it will put the seven in here for the circuit, but it also tried to make some SMDs or something like that and put the thing. And I don't know if that uh, will affect the recipe. I actually haven't haven't really noticed. But uh, using blocking mode is not. I mean, there's no reason not to. All right. That looks, that looks weird. I think, did it put some, no, I think it just, I don't know what it did. <laughs> it just looks weird. All right, but yeah, so that is, yeah, there we go. So last two things. Um. I feel like, see, I feel like that's, yeah, see, blocking mode doesn't seem to work on Greg Tech machines. I thought they didn't. I thought it didn't work on Greg Tech, but maybe I, I don't know. It just seemed like right there it didn't, it wasn't, it wasn't working because it's not technically a inventory, I think, is the problem. If you put it on like a chest, it would work, but with the machines, it doesn't seem to work, but maybe I'm crazy. All right, but there is that, and oh, finally. All right, so put this over here where I've made space, and I was thinking, I'm not gonna do that here, I don't think. I'm not quite ready for that, but I was thinking actually we could keep this stocked with polyethylene if I did like I can't remember this one. I could have it exporting actually. Yeah, so obviously we have a 
we don't have a backlog yet, but if we had a backlog, you know, we could try this actually. Why don't we? Um, eventually we're going to have all AE handling the fluids, but not right now. I'm kind of curious. The only thing is I don't, well, I guess it's going to have to. And what did I? Blue. So in, in theory, if this fills up, what is this tank? See, that tank is 64,000. That's a lot of... Uh, <laughs> um, I've left the world running for a while. So now I have 400,000 oxygen, a million hydrogen. So, uh, yeah, just thought I would point that out. Um, where is... I put this thing away. I was like, oh, I'm not going to use this anymore. I'm like, you know what? Use it. I just want to see if this... Actually, well, I'm assuming it... Yeah, it should work. We're not auto-outputting it to the right, so it should end up in here and then get pulled out. Put it in here. Yep, all right. Nice. We'll just let that work. For the most part, I, I'm going to wait till everything is backlogged. But, all right. Is that now we need one more interface, I think, for that. And oh, hopefully we don't need too much annoying stuff here. All right. Need to get that sorted out as well. But once I get circuits automated here um i think this is going to get much much easier flux dust also fix. actually let's do a couple um sorry Yeah, unfortunately, that's the only way to get these. So maybe I will have to hook up a macerator to a system. Oh well. Now, the cool thing is, I don't have any interfaces to do these yet, so I'm kind of doing... Yeah. Actually, let's do... We want, I'm gonna probably have this, yeah. We're not gonna do, now that I'm thinking about it, we're not gonna be doing this manually. We're gonna be sending this machine hall. Yeah, we're not gonna do this recipe. We're gonna be doing this recipe, but I don't have this set up yet. So I'm not going to, I'll just do this by hand for now. So copper, although this now, uh, well, we don't have a interface. What are we talking about? Uh, this we can actually put on there because we're putting a interface on that. All right, but I think yeah, I think man. Once we get these two assembly machines hooked up to the A system with crafting, that makes life so much easier. Holy cow, does it make it easier. Pull out input from side. Just doing that, and we also need to get the MV extruder. Let me put that on the to-do list. I just wanted to get everything kind of organized here. And I think we are in good shape. So there is the interface. Like I said, I just prefer... 
for these smaller ones. They're not blocking up like full base. And I much prefer the look of the cables as opposed to big giant square blocks. Alright, so there is that. We will move these over to here. Now we can also the SMDs all require polyethylene. You can see, and um, you actually shift click these recipes in. All right, so the blue and the white one. You can actually just shift click these in. I didn't notice this over here. But there we go. We can shift click that one in and shift click that one in. And since we have a dedicated thing to polyethylene, you don't have to worry about the fluids. I just find this much, much easier than trying to deal with AE crafting with fluids and stuff. But uh, yeah, there we go. There is that set up. Now, we could also, if we wanted, let's do... I may be able, actually, let's do this for, we'll try this. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we'll see. So if we set this to eight and we will do the MV casing. So we'll do that, take out the circuit. You don't need that in there said because we'll just leave this in the machine i don't think this is going to cause any issues but there um the like of the other the smd components it shouldn't yeah it shouldn't cause any Some more. And put in there. Did I run out? I did run out. All that sugar cane. <laughs> I ran out. All right. So on this to-do list, get this hooked up. Get this hooked up to the thing. Um, maybe a storage bus of s some kind. Again, we're gonna have some issues. Yeah, how am I gonna do this? It's the problem is trying to access. Um, I need since we're using this side with the conduits. Actually, what am I talking about? There's AE conduits. There's a quest for it too. Is there, was it, ME conduit? Yeah, there's ME conduits. This doesn't need, that's annoying. <laughs> All right, these are a bit annoying. Oh, actually that's not gonna work. No, what am I talking about? I need another face. You could, I could use the front of the face, but I don't want to do that. Um, I don't like the way that looks, having like, Like interface buses, I I don't like how it looks on the front. So I'm gonna we'll have to figure out how we want to do that. I mean, the way this works, I would probably. All right, I think I kind of know what I'm doing. I think I decided. All right, did that MV? Got to. Do that. All right, so that worked. And then MV machine hall. And and we are all right. We're gonna use this the regular copper cables. We are filling up these interfaces so fast, but I think we're gonna need these on AutoCraft just because they're used in the interfaces.
All right, so is that <clears throat> is that everything being? I did have some of this stuff already in the EA system. Um, yeah, I think. <laughs> oh my goodness, are we actually auto crafting everything and it's working? And yep, there it goes. There's crafting up things and crafting up these plates. Yes, and the extruder. Next thing we are going to be crafting up here. But now I can be like, all right, so I make two of these. And it can craft everything. Ah, feels good. Definitely feels good. All right, so there is another interface. Holy cow, does this feel, this feel good. I'm going to throw this underneath. Right on there, I think. All right, and before we wrap up here, I think I do want to, let's see if I can get this. I don't know, how do I want, let me figure out this really quick because there's, it comes underneath into here. Maybe there is an easier way to do this. All right, we are back. And uh, unfortunately, this is going to take a little bit longer than I had planned. So we'll have to do this uh, next episode. But I'm thinking um, get some fluid storage going and possibly um, transporting fluids. Now, I don't know if we need the. We're going to need like a drive with the fluid things on it. If we're not actually storing it in the A, I do think. If you want to transport the fluids, you do need a fluid drive, I think, even if it's just pulling it in and pulling it right out. Um, but yeah, um, before we go, let's just get this crafted up here. Should probably just get this recipe. Now that we have a room, and I also need the interface terminal. Because having to run down here and do that is kind of a pain. Although you have super fast. I think I just need a these. And have I mentioned how much I love auto crafting? <laughs> um, yeah, so. This is the line coming from the thing into the turbines. Well, I'm just going to add it to the steam line uh, that goes to the pyrolyze oven. Pyrolyze. Pyrolyze, pyrolyze, I can never remember. And what we're just going to do is nothing fancy for now. We'll just do that. And this will keep this. Actually, we don't even need this here. What am I? That's just, this is going to be a, a mess, but uh, keep that up in a second. Yes. Yes, no. All right, it doesn't, ah, because that's blue. Just do. All right, there we go. All right, so it works. I think that just voided that all because it's full. But all right, so nothing super fancy. It's got that hooked up. And uh, next episode, we'll come back and see if we get some fluid moving around the base. Um, I'm thinking storage buses on the tanks and send it to the machines. And um, we'll see. I've heard some bad things about Fluid AE and export buses and stuff, but I've actually never had a problem with it. Um, and I have played with Tech Community Edition before, so uh, we'll see. Um, we'll have to be smart about it. Um, I, basically, what I think is the issue with it is when you have lots of fluids getting pulled into the A system and then sent back out, and you have like lots and lots of different tiny amounts and stuff. Um, and it causes lag, but I'm thinking 
if we only do stuff that backs up. So eventually this will back up and we'll stop we'll stop, you know, putting ethylene in here because we're not using the sheets and whenever we pull the sheets out, that's when it'll start making more. Um so anything that backlogs, I will probably use export buses and stuff on, but we'll see. Um, we'll see if we get lag and how that works. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So uh, thanks for watching and have a good one.